Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Ah, oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. You know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torians who's boss. Tear them right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Ha! Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, 
What brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without Clan Leader Yuta's approval. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Ganatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not, we need to rethink, restart. Well, this sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared, worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank-bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. 
You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? Vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The Shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. Looks like Ur's finally found someone to follow around. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are in Erdnot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Why'd you call the Pijaks off-world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elatania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. I can't imagine you let him walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. I'm a good shot. 
Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population. You get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. One of the children, probably five years from the right. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son? Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Watch it, human! Don't touch anything. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt. Continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Should you be in here? Who are you? I am Fortak, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally, someone understands. I swear, I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among savages. I am the Lord High Researcher. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things, things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Things would last longer if they didn't hit every- I straight ahead! Let's see what the human can do.
What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Werelock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the Blood Pack. What can you tell me about Clan Werelock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Werelock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Werelock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Werelock's reputation? And how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Werelock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Werelock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Incoming. Should do the trick. Hit. Change weapons. You got it.
Just the thing to help. Concussive shot ready. Hold the line. Killed that one. One down. Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy. Built to withstand punishment. That's unfortunate. Hospitals aren't fun to fight through. What is fun to fight through? Gardens, electronic shops, antique stores, but only if they're classy. That body. Human. Need to take a look. Sores. Tumors. Ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was. No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations. Far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Wouldn't something native to Tichanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes, human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native to Chanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? 
Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. If I flee, I might trip over the dozen Krogan I killed to get here. I think I'll take my chances. You killed our youngest and weakest human. They were not worthy of remaining near our glorious work. Inside, you will find only hardened, blood-packed veterans, tempered by savagery and war, and dedicated to one goal. The Salarian will cure the genophage, and Clan Werelock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage, no human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire. The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pact did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed by You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target.
Labs likely through there. Can smell antiseptic. Hint of dead flesh. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morton. Not developing. Modifying. Much more difficult. Working within confines of existing genophage. A hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable. Could cause total sterility. Malignant tumors. Could even reduce effectiveness. Worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable. One in 1,000. Perfect target. Optimal growth. Like gardening. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No. Murdered no one. Altered fertility. Prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. What was it like working on the Genophage Modification Project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy. No ethical concerns. Understand rationale for modified genophage. Right choice, still. <sighs> Hard to sleep some nights. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. The effects on Tuchanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes. Refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered. Attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage. Us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved Galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment, simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. We're not gonna find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. Dead Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, warlock female willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead Krogan. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live Krogan. Never killed with medicine. Her death not my work. Only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically. But still unnecessary. Foolish. Waste of life. Hate to see it. I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. 
Did you come to Tuchanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples. Ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. See small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives, then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races, no answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor who killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope. Scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic, not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill, still caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life, popular Salarian concept, similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn, adapt, improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Rachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase, all pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from galaxy. So you're willing to sterilize a species based on the evidence of a few simulations? Yes. Millions of data points. Years of arguments. Countless scenarios. All noted Krogan fragmentation as dangerous. No unified culture to support repopulation. Would have been war. Turians and humans destroying Krogan utterly. Genophage was better. Saved lives. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion. Only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. Look at the dead woman, Morden. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. this. Not Blood Pack, not member of Clan Werelock. Wrong clan markings. I'm a nerd, not scout. Werelock guards got me. Brought me here. The Chief Scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdnot. I can't. The Werelock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. I'll have to stay. Morden, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. 
They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. You got a bruised ego. You got caught and beaten, so you tell yourself it was for something important. That's not true. I need to stay. They're gonna cure us all. You're not a real Krogan. When a real Krogan gets knocked down, he gets back up. I did. I got back up every time they hit me. So many times. You're lying there right now like a Vorcha grubbing in the mud. You gonna just lie there, Vorcha? Screw you, Schumann. Nobody says that to me. Nobody keeps me down. Damn right they don't. Now get back to Clan Erdnot and report in. Go. Go! There's no pep talk like a military pep talk. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosives useful. Burn through broken armor. You've been spotted.
This might be useful. Mainland. Alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morden, did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That will be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God, and we failed. We only made things worse, and I'm going to fix it. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warelock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warelock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warelock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warelock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morden. You're not a murderer. <sighs> no. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project. Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. You heard the Professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morden. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. 
Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here. But you see the loss, too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Morden. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure. But closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. I'd like to look around a bit more. Intelligent move. Surprising from Krogan. Glad to see it. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grun's problem. The child. My son. We played tackle the Baron. It was... He was good. Fast. Strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. So fast. I didn't get to talk with him. Looks like Urs finally found someone to follow around. Good Baron. Here, try this. Huh. 
Looks like Gurr's finally found someone to follow around. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I could teach him to hunt. The best way to shoot a gun. To fight with honor and savagery. Eh, you can do that next time they bring the children. It's not the same. Put down some real money, human. Give me a... Step back. My Varen is hungry. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers, that's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost, falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Thanks for the information. Don't know about the rest of your species, but you're good in my books, human. One wrong step, Shepard. One more win in the... Don't touch anything. If you're gonna stand there, make yourself useful. I can't do anything until I build a replacement manifold for this damn Tomka. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work faster than building one from scratch at least you just saved me three days work human you burn my time if you want it what's that you're working on there I'm tuning up these machines for battle it's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp it could be worse a couple more hits on the broadside and this thing would have crumbled Krogan's placed so much importance on martial strength how'd you become a mechanic how do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnot. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me, which you just did. 
But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Place your bed on the pits, human. We won't regret it. You see that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special bid on the Citadel. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here if that's what you want. Don't be a fool. They were honoring a fight against the Ratner. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Genophage. You don't have the plates to try. Don't proud the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this wealth of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. Of course, if they draw their weapons, the Erdnaut warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnaut from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic Wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnaut? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnaut could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Watch it, human. I have nothing to say to aliens or their pet Krogan. You go beyond yourself, Gadatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnaut are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. <sniffs> Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. I don't care what this idiot says. Grunt has the right to be here. There's some fire, and from an alien. Oh, the shame this heaps on those who whine like pups. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. <sighs> My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior, but each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnaut. Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. 
You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. She understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the rite, only the candidate and his crant are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested, and that you must adapt. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The Keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. First the Krogan conquered Tuchanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Here they come. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
ready. Scratch one! Put them down. them down. Finally, an enemy worth fighting. Damn it. Lost shield.
Enemy fire! Company. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My Krant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure, no alien meddling in your construction. Just the Warlord of Kier. You're stumbling, Uvank. What's your game? Grot will command much respect now. His strength may be artificial, but it is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gatatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance, too. If I know Grunt, your answer's coming at muzzle velocity. You do know Grunt. This Varen is dead. Keystone to get out of here and leave him to rot. the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. 
You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I want to know about Tuchanka's past. Tuchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This should come in handy. doesn't have to listen to aliens. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone. Ever. Speaking for the females is an honor, even if it delays my rite of passage. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Don't crowd the ambassador. You don't have the plates to try. You hear that the tank bread and the human killed the Thresher Maw? Everybody's heard. As if it does, it's Rex himself. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a Maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Quint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Pits have been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. You killed that Thresher Maw on foot? Should you be in here? As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. So, you're our new warrior. The Shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass on my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. The 
This looks interesting. This is valuable. Don't touch anything. Ignore them, girl. They're not worth the effort. Just be one big weak target. Have to keep the fertile females safe. The children safe. Damn the genophage. I think I'll take you up on that ring hole later. I hear you killed a thresher maw. Impressive. Welcome, Erdnot Grunt. My name is Ratch. You and your crant will find many items of interest in my store. The human is my battle master. Of course. Not much here for humans, but you can take a look if you want. I should go. Suit yourself. This looks interesting. for you if you want it, or not grunt. Just set the human aside and we can talk. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Minor spike in the primary core, compensating. I was thinking of installing some lava lamps, maybe Christmas lights for ambience? What do you think? It takes skill to make a ship bank in a vacuum. Don't think it doesn't. thinking about taking up bullfighting. What do you think? You know, Commander, I'm not real broke up that Rex isn't coming. I'm good with our current amount of headbutting. I'd say we're at headbutting capacity. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
Erdnot grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... It makes me want to fight, not just able to. And Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Back for another lesson. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. I'm trying to remember, what was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist, hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. 
Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. something. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass. The warmth of another's hand on yours. The taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do? Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh. 
That time. Laser dot trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid Drell memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. This crew is pretty diverse. You must have something in common with some of them. Get out of this room and talk to them. I shall consider it. I won't keep you. Hey, got a minute? I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. The Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally, can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. 
explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions, or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now, at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Freedom's a, no, a rip. The Trell homeworld of Rakana once teemed with life. Its arid plains home to spectacular insect and reptile analogs. But the Drell took to industrialization early and did not realize the extent of the environmental damage they caused until it was too late. With their topsoil depleted and oceans too acidic to sustain life, the Drell were situated for a massive population crash by 2025 CE. It was then the Hanar stepped in, mounting a large-scale rescue operation to bring Drell to the Hanar homeworld, Kaje. As wars erupted over what resources remained on Rakana and billions began to die, approximately 375,000 Drell escaped in the Exodus. To repay their debt, the Drell entered into an agreement with the Hanar. Called the Compact, it states, that the Drell would assist the Hanar with tasks the Hanar cannot physically perform. Today, high-ranking Hanar are frequently inseparable from their Drell attendants. The Krogan homeworld boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and vicious predatory fauna. Around 1900 BCE, the Krogan discovered atomic power and promptly instigated many intraplanetary wars, sending Tachanka into a nuclear winter. With most of their industrial base destroyed, the Krogan entered a new dark age, and warring tribal bands dominated. Populations remained low for the next 2,000 years. First contact with the Salarians made resurgence possible. Krogan brought to less hostile planets, bred exponentially, and returned to reconquer their home. They built vast underground shelters to shield themselves from surface radiation which proved prescient during the Krogan rebellions, when many of them isolated themselves in a vain attempt to avoid the genophage. Convinced they could outbreed the genophage, they transmitted it into more than 90% of the sealed bunkers. Today, Tuchanka's population is sharply limited, and while individual Krogan are long-lived, the genophage ensures few replacements.